not pregnant. pregnant. You're delusional. You're then crazy. why are you denying my kid? Because you're not pregnant. My daughter thinks she's pregnant and she's not. My daughter is a compulsive liar and delusional. Yeah, if that's true, it wouldn't be that big of a surprise. Hi again. Welcome back to the second installment of Quite Looks at the episode of Dr. Phil with the girl that thinks she's pregnant with the second coming of Christ. Today's prop is a piece from the game Break the Ice. Some of you guys might recognize it. For me, it was a big part of my childhood, and this is me paying homage to it. Kind of like how I try and use Pokemon Mystery Dungeon music to try and trick you into thinking that I'm relatable because you can't actually see my face. Because of this, I have to artificially superimpose human characteristics on myself to make myself at least resemble a person slightly. We got 4,000 likes on the last video with this topic and it a lot faster than I thought I would, so I'm doing this video a lot sooner than I thought I would. So let's jump right into the cesspool, shall we? My sister Haley is crazy. She actually thinks her baby's Jesus. First time I heard her say that, she was saying it was Jesus Christ in her stomach. That's all you can say. You're not pregnant. You're not pregnant. I don't know about anybody else, but I wouldn't be too jealous about someone else being pregnant. I have so much respect for women for their ability to be pregnant and going through that whole process and giving birth. Just don't know how jealous I can actually be of that whole experience. And much less so, the pressure of being the one to birth baby Jesus. That shit's asking for a whole lot of trouble from religious zealots, people who would claim I'm a heretic or a false prophet or some shit like that. The Pope probably fits in there somewhere. Shit just seems really stressful and I'm already balding from the stress of playing Fortnite solos with no one there to carry me. I looked at her like she had lost her mind. She was just going off into a delusional tailspin. She's not pregnant and never has been. I gave her two home pregnancy tests and they came up negative and then I took her to the clinic and they even did a pelvic exam and it was all negative. Just like the last time around, we spent some time with this girl. She still isn't pregnant. Ooh, shocker. No one's surprised, but there is one thing that a couple people mentioned in the comments of last video that I at least want to bring up here. There's a thing called false hysterical or phantom pregnancy. It has another more scientific sounding name, but I'm not even going to try to pronounce that word. The one that's on screen right now, where somebody shows signs of being pregnant without actually being pregnant, and sometimes it's even just a psychological thing. But I thought it was worth bringing up here, seeing as how a few people mentioned it. And considering we're talking about a woman who's not pregnant, but still insists that she's about to spit out baby Jesus, I wonder if when Darth Maul got his legs chopped off during the Phantom Menace, if that was a metaphor for phantom pregnancy, in symbolism for the pain that someone who's going through that suffers, respect. And then I took her to the health department, and they gave her a pregnancy test, and it came up negative. Through the health Watch department. The health Watch department. Out. They already denied my baby. I'm still showing. He's fully kicking. And I am pregnant. So what are we gonna do about it? I know, let's go on Dr. Phil! If you guys watching this video are unfamiliar with the predecessor to it, I said something about not understanding how any person ever ends up on Dr. Phil to try and solve their issues. There's like private therapy and stuff for most of the shit. Though, to be fair, some of the people who go on Dr. Phil probably would only be motivated to clean up the rack by a good portion of humanity scolding them. If it's coming out of Haley's mouth, that's usually a lie. She manipulates her way through sex, Riding someone. See, there's your proof. If she's pregnant with Jesus, the rules say that you have to be a virgin. It's right there between no furries and no floating hoodies. I don't make the rules, guys. I just read them. The no floating hoodies thing is a bit of a relief, though. That was a bullet dodged, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Some of her lies are the rapper Eminem was her dad, she donated a kidney to her half-brother, and that she was a contestant on American Idol. Wait, what? Such a wide range of things to make up. Oh yeah, I was on American Idol once. I had to donate my kidney to my brother, and also Eminem's my dad. She lies and exaggerates everything. I got a letter in the mail from Medicaid saying she had pregnant woman's Medicaid. It used to be the only way you could get that was if you were pregnant. Okay, so I did some elite hacker man five minute Google research, and it seems like that the requirements to apply for Medicaid vary from state to state, but generally you need proof of pregnancy, proof of citizenship or non-citizenship, depending on if you're a US resident or not, and proof of income. If this girl actually got Medicaid for being a pregnant woman, she is A, actually pregnant, and we've been clowning a slightly more sane person than we thought we were before. Not that much more sane though, because she still thinks she's pregnant with baby Jesus. Or B, she is fiercely capable and cunningly intelligent to the point where she could falsify documents to get this Medicaid, which is a scarier thought. To be honest, probably neither of them are true. I'm probably just missing a whole fuck ton of stuff. Either way, leave your opinions in the comments below. I think it's impossible for her to be pregnant. I can't keep living like this. We have to treat her like she's actually pregnant to avoid conflict. I'm hoping Dr. Phil can let me know if this is part of her act or does she really need help? Okay, the big question is here, do you need Dr. Phil to answer that question for you? Or does your daughter need Dr. Phil, or more importantly, his audience to answer that question? I don't know. Your mother and sister think you lie. Have you told some things that aren't true? 
not the pregnancy, because you, you say that is true, but have you told some things that aren't true? Yeah, I lie about where I'm going and stuff sometimes. That's it, wrap it up. This case is open and shut. It's over now. She admitted to the one thing, so we can now implicate everything else. Pledge to my Patreon, subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter. Goodbye. I don't think I've had my tonsils taken out. Well, you said you did. Did she say she did? Yeah, she did. Uh... <laughs> and you've told doctors on your records that you did? Yes, that's where we saw it. On the records. I don't remember saying that. It was on your records from the health department that you put on there saying that you had your tonsils removed. Records from the health department. Mm -hmm. I take it she doesn't like the health department too much because they probably told her that she's not prego my ego or something like that. The face she makes and the tone she has when she says the health department's name seems like something me or you might do when referring to that person who annoys us so much that every time we're around them we get just a little closer to being charged with involuntary manslaughter. But that's neither here nor there. You said my mom was doing math when she was pregnant with me. Yeah. Were you doing math when you were pregnant? No, not at all. Never, no. With her, when I was pregnant with her, I almost stopped smoking cigarettes. I mean, I, I was clean with all my pregnancies. Okay. What? Come on, guys. You can't just not give us a shot of the daughter's reaction. That's not fair. I need to see how sour her expression went. Is she stoic and strong in the face of this perceived heresy from her own mom? Or is she saltier than Wendy's french fries? These are the real questions, and the crewmen of the Dr. Phil show are making sure we never have the answers to them. I've never stolen from my mom. That's a lie. You said, I donated a kidney to my brother. Wait, we're just gonna gloss over that? Jesus, if you're in that girl's stomach, please listen to my prayer. Don't go on Dr. Phil on national television to air out all of your personal issues for potentially all of the world to see if you're just gonna skip over the good shit like that. Like, come on! But no, memes aside, I can see why one might not want to implicate themselves in that particular sentence. That I was born, I, my mom only had gotten pregnant with me to use me as a guinea pig for my brother because he was so sick. <coughs> No. That's another law. <gasps> so you mean like you were a parts department or she yeah. had you for parts? So, yeah, something like that. Yeah. Speaking of the parts department, did you know there's an entire black market for selling human organs and body parts? Eyeballs can go for $1,525, your small intestine could go for $2,519, your heart could go for $119,000, and your kidney could go for $262,000. Courtesy of Gizmodo for those figures. The best part about the kidney though is that that's just the price you could get for one in America. You can get them cheaper in other countries too, so there's that. Just some useful information for you guys and the off chance that you need it for something, you're welcome. No, you were a surprise. Yeah, says the one who lets this guy into your house and call me a hoe and kick me out while I'm pregnant. Oh, uh, whatever. See, remember what I said about these people glossing over what the other person said? Listen, whenever you're doing something like this, you have to... <clears throat> CHECK INTENTIONS! Is this mom just fed up with her daughter saying that she's pregnant when virtually every fucking sign says that her daughter isn't pregnant? Or is it because she's guilty? I'll never know the answer because A, I'm too lazy to watch the full episode to see if this is ever brought up again, and B, they keep ignoring each other! Well, listen, I'm trying to find out what you, what you know to be true and what you don't know to be true. You said, I donated a kidney to my brother. Do you know that you said that? I didn't say that. Yes, you did. I did not say that. Yes, you did. I, you are not a lie detector test, and you need to shut it. I don't need it. one to know that you that's need to a lie shut that it. you did say that. You need to be quiet. It was on Maybe. the records from the health department that we picked up and gave to them. Huh, so it may be. I feel like I'm floating in the multiverse again. Hopefully when this whole fucking stupid train wreck of a roller coaster is over, I can get dropped off in a universe that's less stressful to exist in than this one. I feel like I've lost 30 combined years of my life from all the tension in the room that I've watched from individual Dr. Phil episode clips. And with that being said, I feel like I've absorbed enough of this family's drama into the pores of my skin, even with all of this protective gear, it's probably just a little hazardous for my health, but let's face it, that's really never stopped me before. Yes it has, shut up quite. So here's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut a deal with you pieces of shit. My risk of heart failure might have increased tenfold due to my repeated exposure to this family's over year old antics, but I'm willing to take that final step into near certain death if you do something for me. We hit 4,000 likes super quick and super easy last time, so here's the deal. If we can get 8,000 likes on this video, double the goal of last time, I will make a third video talking about this girl 
girl and then hopefully never again. That way after that video I can finally kill myself in peace. It's all in your hands now and it's your decision to make. Anyways, I'm gonna wrap this video up here. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like. Remember, 8,000 likes and I make part three. And subscribe if you're new. Thanks to anybody who's pledged to the Patreon. It means a lot that you're willing to take that extra step to help out the channel. If any of you guys are interested in pledging, there's a link to the Patreon in the description. But even if you don't pledge, that's absolutely fine. I still appreciate anybody who supports the videos. I have a live podcast called Pullover that I try and stream every week. I usually stream on Fridays at 8 p.m. Eastern time, but times and dates do vary depending on mine and the guest schedules. So be sure to follow me on Twitter at Quite for updates when I'm streaming. If you want to check out any of the already aired episodes, they've all been uploaded to a separate channel. There's a link to that channel in the description or in the sidebar of the main channel. I also have a Discord server, so if you guys want to check that out, there's a link to that in the description as well. Anyways, now that I've simulated human characteristics long enough, this has been Quite, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you.